Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another counter side video. I know, it's been a while. It's kind of crazy. Now, let's talk about Awaken Suyun. I think a lot of you guys have been asking me about Awaken Suyun. She's the next character that's featured in the uh, global server. So hopefully give you guys an idea whether or not you should be pulling for her, at least. Now, with that being said, I'm going to bring it up uh, the patch notes of 8th of September. Alright, so what are we getting in this particular uh, patch notes. So we're getting Awaken Suyun, so that's all we know for sure. Uh, that's going to be the main uh, focus of the patch. Alongside with Alt Aggressive Suyun, we also get to have Rosaria. Uh, probability up as you can see. Uh, Rosaria rerun is... She's quite decent. I would say if you have spare blue tickets, consider getting Rosaria. She's going to be a very good choice for a lot of beginners. Yansing, uh, not so much. Alright, She's definitely a much more focus of PvP unit. There are some stages that you can use her in PvE, but not a lot. Uh, she's not like crucial. New Danger Close Season, ETC. So let's talk about Awaken Seoyun specifically. Now, I'm not sure who is coming after her. Alright? I can't remember entirely, even in C server, who was actually before or after her. If I'm not mistaken, she came first in C server and Awaken Ayubin came later, if I remember correctly. Now, she's going to be one of the highest damage dealing uh, Awakened characters by far. If you're looking for pure damage, that is going to be uh, the case. Is she good in PvP? Yes, she's going to be quite good. She does have Healing Reflux. As far as I know, the only character that has Healing Reflux right now in the entire game. Uh, even up until the, in the KR server, right? So let's pull up C server and we can talk about her in C server. But before that, I think a lot of you guys are not aware that I do have a second channel. Some of you guys know this, but I think quite a lot of you guys are not aware of that yet. So Guitar Rock Gaming is where I've been posting a lot of my other much more simpler uh, counter side guides. Alright, in terms of the mini guides. Now what's the difference between uh, the contents here and the main channel? Uh, pretty much, I feel like a lot of things that I've done on, on this main channel, right? I've done it in like Countersight C before, so it's like it doesn't make sense for me to post two of the same guys for Global as well. Now Global is going to have a little bit of differences for sure, but like if I make gear guides or whatever, it doesn't make sense because like there's the same one already exists on the current channel which is on the C server. So yeah, if you guys want to see more simpler forms of Countersight contents, head over to the second channel. I'll have plenty of things right there for you guys. Some of it might even be helpful to some of you. Alright, so let's talk about Awaken Seoyun specifically. Now, uh, I like attack speed on her. I do think that everyone should consider running attack speed on Awaken Seoyun. It's going to give you a lot of damage, flexibility-wise, and it's also going to be quite decent on PvP as well. Now, in PvP, by far, uh, I a lot of people will argue, if you are using Awaken Seoyun, right, it's better to go for Skill Haze. Now, Skill Haze, by far, is going to be better because there's more CC, right? So the more you can cast your special skill and ultimate skill, the better it is. Now let's talk about Awaken Suyun in general uh, in terms of the character overall, right? What can she provide? As you can see, passive skill is pretty straightforward. Every third basic attack, she del delivers enhanced attack. And she summons a telekinetic rifles and this will basically increase, you know, the telekinetic rifles attack by 5% for 12 seconds. So one more thing is every time she receives a HP drop below 70%, she would jump backwards. And that is pretty cool in my opinion. I do think that that's what makes her kind of cool in PvP. So she can escape out of danger. She gotta have some sort of like mobility for her to escape from danger. So 70% and 40% if you upgrade this skill to level 5. Now the special skill is what makes her really cool. It has healing reflux. 100% uh, healing reflux is kind of cool. So that means all the heal will become damaged if they are swing or swung by this particular skill. Now you can still sort of counter this skill by using Claudia. You can time when you are deploying your supporters or healers in PvP. That is a strategy that a lot of uh, top end players do use. And the ultimate skill basically throws a bunch of damage and also, uh, you know, it just throws a ship, a bunch of CC. I think the area is pretty huge as well. Now, uh, what's the advice generally, right? So a lot of you guys know that I play both uh, Counter-Side C and Counter-Side Global and I do play Counter-Side Global so that I have a better feeling or like a better gauge of how fast the pace of the Counter-Side Global is advancing. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, Global has been really fast, alright? I think if you are free to play, it's going to be quite tough to be able to pull all the Awakens. You gotta be okay with skipping some. Like if you get Awakened Nayubin for example, you might have to skip Awakened Suyun and that's just how it is, right? Unless you manage to get lucky with all of them, but if you pity even one or two of them, it's going to be really, really tough. 
So the advice here for now, I would say try not to pull for her yet because I do think that the roadmap is coming soon. Uh, we don't know what's coming or who is coming after her. So there's a couple of predictions that I can give you guys. Number one is going to be Awaken Amy. Now she is uh, one of the better Awaken units for PvP. However, she's definitely much more of a PvP focused unit compared to Awaken Soyun. Now if Awaken Amy is coming next, then sure, like Awaken Soyun is a good, sort of a good uh, pick for sure, right? One more thing is Replacer Queen. Now there's a chance that she could be next as well. Now Replacer Queen versus Awaken Soyun is going to be a much more complicated one. Replacer Queen is a 5 cost uh, Awaken Sniper and you know she and Awaken Amy is the only Awaken Sniper in C server. She's quite strong, she's quite versatile and flexible as well. Now she might be better in certain areas than Awaken Soyun in some of the harder contents depending on what contents you're trying to tackle. Uh, for example, right now, uh, you won't be able to beat all the stages yet. The challenge, uh, these three stages, right? So. Replacer Queen is kind of good in Steely Ruins, so you will be able you will be able to use her right here. Uh, she can help you for sure immensely right here. Awaken Soyun unfortunately is not useful in any of these T7 farming uh, stages, sadly. Right? If you pull for Awaken Soyun, keep in mind that she won't be used here. But she's going to be one of the top damage dealers in the raids because she has the ability to summon the rifles behind her. So that's going to be her biggest asset. Now the only condition that I would not pull Awaken Soyun is if Ministra is right next after her. Now I am not aware of that at this moment. Again, I have no idea if Ministra is going to be next. I do think that Ministra is going to be a better pick for most players because she's much more versatile and flexible in terms of uh, usability and she does less damage than Awaken Soyun. Alright, I'm not going to say that she does more, but she does more everything else. You guys need to look at Awaken Soyun from a perspective of a very high DPS centric unit and a lot of high DPS centric unit is is much easier to replace them, right? Let's give you guys a couple of examples. Like if we talk about Ifrit for example, right? So Ifrit does a lot of damage. She does a lot of burst damage for sure. If you pull for her, she's going to be a good pick in a lot of stages. But if you don't have Ifrit, you are not like suffering in any way, in any way, shape or form because you can easily replace Ifrit with another damage dealer. But if your account lacks someone that's much more crucial, for example, Young Harem, that's when uh, it's kind of hard to replace her, alright? So there's no replacement for Young Harem. In a way, she's going to be way harder to replace. So hopefully this concept can sort of give you guys an idea about Ministra and, you know, Awaken Soyun. So I feel like Awaken Soyun is like an Ifrit. She does so much damage, she can carry you in raids. But raids is something that you do together with your either your guildmates or your friends, you know? So it's not something that you're tackling alone. But in those solo contents that you can't rely on someone else, uh, that's where character like Ministra comes in. Ministra has way more value on her. So yeah, that's uh, personally my opinion. Again, let me know what you guys think. I am pretty sure some of you guys might disagree with me and going to say Awaken Soyun is a must pull. I guess everybody will have their own opinion regarding this. But hey, uh, as always, if you guys haven't already subscribed, give this video a like and let me know what you guys think. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.